Hey, this is Frank. The patient I have on my operating table today is a six-speed transmission from an Acura RSX. This is a transmission that's going in our case swap. And what we're going to do with this transmission is we're going to open it up and we're going to replace the open differential with a limited slip differential. So let's get started. First thing we want to do is to remove this um, motor mount bracket. It's right here. So we have these posts that are uh, on the bracket and these just come loose. First one is off. Let's get the second one off. So we have these studs underneath with nuts and uh, then the top fasteners. There's only one top fastener on this side. Uh, these are all 17 millimeters. So let's get them off. Okay, so the bracket is off. Next I'm going to remove this piece here that to be honest, I don't even really know what it is. It is. We'll set it aside. Now we're going to go around the transmission and remove all the small peripheral pieces and brackets. Start with this one right here. This one actually bolts through the bell into the bell housing. So we'll set it aside with its bolts. Next one we take off is this one right here. Now let's flip the transmission around and see what else we got. So let's get this off. Now let's get this shift linkage right here off the transmission. So far everything has been very straightforward. And then now we're uh, starting to get to the more technical parts, including this shifter mechanism and various detents and springs. So we're going to follow the repair manual. And I highly suggest that anybody attempting this job do the same. Follow the instructions of the repair manual. So the first step is to remove these three bolts. They're 12 millimeter and they have uh, springs and ball bearings inside. So here's how this is set up. The spring is inside the bolt and there's a little ball bearing in there. We'll use a little magnet to retrieve it. So I used this uh, magnetic tip screwdriver and the ball bearing came out and of course it fell down. So we'll have to clean it off later before we reuse it. Now we do the same thing with the second. Okay, these three are removed. Next thing is to remove this uh, reverse sensor. And this one is a 25 millimeter hex. Now the next step is we want to remove the vehicle speed sensor and O-ring. This is located right here. Looks like a 12 millimeter. Thank you. 
she's all rusty. There it is. So to get this speed sensor out, I flipped the transmission onto the side and I uh, just uh, pry with this screwdriver to sort of break it loose. And uh, I spray some penetrating oil into the gap where the o-ring sits. I hope it's going to get in there. And uh, so first I pry one way then the other way and and here we go I flipped it back onto the bell housing and the next step is to remove the change lever assembly so um, we've got uh, bolts under here two bolts up here See how many bolts are there, and one more back here. They're all 10 millimeter. These bolts all have 10 millimeter heads. Don't forget to remove this interlock bolt. It has a female 8 millimeter hex head okay and once you remove this bolt your mechanism should come straight out and here you can see where the shift interlock bolt locks into the shifter mechanism right through this groove. I flipped it around. The next step is to remove the fill bolt, the drain bolt, and there's another flange bolt somewhere that I'm going to look for in a minute. But let's just get with these two. This one uh, is just a square socket. And here's its gasket, we'll keep them together. Now this one looks to be uh, 17 millimeter. So this one broke loose and keep it with this gasket. I flipped it around so you can see it. The flange bolt is back here. This looks like a 14 millimeter head. And it also has a washer. We keep them together. The next step is to loosen up all of these bell housing bolts from all around. So now it does want me to remove this transmission hanger. I have a 14 millimeter socket here. Yep. Here it is. Next we're going to remove this ceiling cap up here and it has a special hex head. Okay. And I already broke it loose.
So here's the ceiling cap. And we're going to move the camera so we can look inside here. So inside here, there's a snap ring. You can see the ends of the snap ring. I have already um, started to open this snap ring and I'm going to show you the tool that I used for this. This is my snap ring expander tool and using this I can open up the snap ring as far as it'll go. And uh, yeah, that's how I did it, okay? It's using this. So now we should be able to start prying this loose. So there's a flange that we can use for prying right here. Let's get the pry bar. Wow, that took some effort, okay? But we broke it loose. It was held up by the sealer, the Honda bond. All around, that's a powerful glue, powerful adhesive. Okay, so we've released everything that is holding the transmission together and we've released the snap ring up here. And now we're, we've pried the case off of the bell housing. Now we're ready to pull it off. Well, maybe we're not quite done prying yet. It takes a little bit more prying sometimes. The next step is to unfasten the reverse selector shaft. And here's the selector arm. Now the next step would be to pull both the input shaft and output shaft along with the selector forks all out together with one piece and normally people try to keep them all together because it's a little bit difficult to put them back together after they come apart but we're not too concerned about that and I'll show you in another video how to reassemble this entire assembly if uh, the two shafts and the selector forks. Okay, let's see if we can do it. There we go. Set it all down here. Stays together, stays together. Doesn't stay together. We're not too worried about it. And we have these two washers down here at the base of the shaft. Keep them with the shaft. This is the uh, reverse selector. Okay, that goes on the bottom of this fork like so and now we're ready to just pull out the differential 
There we go. And right here, this is our speedo ring, which we'll need to transfer over to our new limited slip differential. And one more thing we disassemble is this reverse idler shaft and the reverse idler. Now we're going to separate the ring gear from the differential. These bolts are all 14s. Let's see if they'll come apart. Okay, let's see what we have here. Here's our differential, and this is our ring gear that we're going to reuse. 